So uh, today we will be talking about uh, equation-based modeling using console uh, and physics. Uh, on Monday, what we have seen was a general uh, introduction and using the built-in uh, physics-based interfaces to solve different physical problems. But sometimes the uh, models you want to solve might not be already built-in into the software, uh, but you might have your uh, ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation that models uh, that process. And so what we'll be talking about today is how to uh, enter those equations and uh, how to pick uh, the appropriate uh, interface and how to couple uh, different uh, PDs together if you have a couple of PD system. Uh, my name is Tamisigan. Uh, you can call me Tammy. Uh, I work in uh, Comsol as an application engineer. Uh, primarily, I focus on uh, structural mechanics and equation-based modeling. So today, we will be mostly talking about equation-based modeling. Now, uh, console under the hood is really a system for solving uh, partial differential equations uh, numerically. Uh, this can be uh, linear uh, equations, nonlinear equations, scatters, uh, systems. Uh, but the idea is uh, if we build the infrastructure to uh, solve an arbitrary system of PDEs or uh, ODEs and algebraic equations, then we would be able to uh, handle um, a lot of problems that are uh, encountered in science and engineering. Um, some other software sometimes start with solving a certain area, saying, okay, we want to solve a heat transfer problem or we want to make a fluid flow, or we want to make structural mechanics uh, simulation package. And the way uh, we went about it is we want to make a PDE solver or an ODE solver. And uh, anything, when most problems come in that form anyway, then uh, you can handle them. So some of the more popular partial special equations here, uh, the Maxwell equations uh, at the bottom, Navier Stokes equation at top, heat transfer, chemical and reaction engineering acoustics. Schrodinger's equation, the elasticity equation. So the way this works then is uh, under, uh, I mean, on top of this uh, PDEs, uh, we build physics-based uh, interfaces uh, for structural mechanics, for electrical, chemical, thermal, fluid. And uh, whenever you are designing any device uh, or analyzing most realistic problems, there is going to be more than one of this involved. If you are doing fluid structure interaction, um, you would need to couple structural mechanics with uh, fluid flow. Uh, this happens often, for example, if you are doing uh, biomechanics and you want to analyze uh, flow in blood vessels, but then also analyze stress in the arteries and uh, couple that, then you would need to do fluid structure interaction. Or if you are doing a chemical reaction problems where the reaction generates of uh, consumes heat, uh, and then also where reaction uh, kinetics is temperature dependent, you want to couple uh, equations for chemical and reaction uh, with uh, thermal uh, equations. So there can be more than one of these that are combined, and a lot of these commonly understood uh, multiphysics couplings are already uh, built in into uh, COMSOL. And a lot of the problems that you might be interested in solving are already built in. I, I hope Monday you you did the micro register beam example. This is what Mia did. Uh, it transfer electrical erratic structural mechanics. And the couplings you needed there were already built in. So you just needed to click and add them, and the console would add the necessary equation. But uh, when you are doing research, when you are doing development, often the equations you are interested in solving may not be part of uh, what is built in. Or maybe part of it is built in, but there is a missing part. Maybe you are doing a structural mechanics problem where the material behavior has a certain evolution law, and that material evolution law is not built in, but structural mechanics in general is built in. So then what you can do is just add your evolution equation as a PDE and couple it with the existing uh, physics-based interface. That is how most of our users do, do uh, work when they uh, use equation-based modeling. It's rare that people will do everything from scratch using equation-based modeling, 
but obviously you don't want to reinvent the wheel. Part of it is already there, and the parts that's missing, you can uh, add using uh, user-defined equations. So uh, user-defined equations, you use them uh, when um, what you are interested in solving is not in there, or sometimes you are actually just curious to work directly with the equations. And other times, maybe you are a professor and you are a, you have a grad student, and just give it to them and they should make it for you. Uh, but uh, in any case, uh, uh, we'll be talking about how then to implement your own um, equations uh, in COMSOL. Uh, so the way it works is there are multiple uh, templates for uh, entering the equations. Uh, for ODEs, uh, for PDEs, and there are more than one ways to enter uh, PDEs. Uh, we'll talk about them. But uh, the biggest thing is that um, you don't need to write subroutines uh, uh, or anything like that. You just write your PDEs directly, and that makes it faster for you to try out different uh, ideas when you're going, well, maybe the equation behaves this way. Maybe there is this term I want to keep, or maybe there is this other term I don't want to keep. And whenever you do that, it, if you can directly prescribe your equations, uh, it um, uh, makes it easy. And uh, these equations uh, can be nonlinear, uh, linear, transient, uh, or stationary. You don't have to uh, worry about that. Uh, of course, since you are taking a thick and numerical analysis class, you want to worry about that. But uh, in a more uh, when you're using uh, software to solve physical problems to solve to develop a device uh, what you want to do is quickly test uh, your ideas uh, and then of course later on you can tweak once you have made the major decisions about uh, your physics so the way we will go about it today is we'll talk about the mathematics interface first uh, then uh, we'll focus on uh, partial differential equations how to prescribe partial differential equations and boundary conditions when you are using equation-based modeling, uh, how to add differential and uh, algebraic equations. Uh, then uh, we will uh, do a demonstration of a thermal uh, curing problem. This is a heat transfer problem with a slightly non-standard uh, material evolution law. So the way we would uh, normally solve this in console is use the built-in equation, uh, the built-in heat transfer interface for the heat transfer part and add an extra equation for the thermal uh, curing and couple them. But today, for um, for the uh, for pedagogical reasons, what we will do is we'll do all of it using equation-based modeling. Uh, uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit about uh, uh, what happens when you are uh, working with axisymmetric components. We'll talk a little bit about integral uh, equations. Uh, we'll talk about uh, verification and validation. Uh, when you are using any of the built-in um, physics-based interfaces such as heat transfer or structural mechanics or uh, microfluidics or pipe flow uh, in, in console, and this is true about other uh, packages uh, as well, they would have done uh, verification of uh, the fact that uh, they have implemented the right equation and whether it fits, uh, if whether it works correctly by comparing it with either analytical solutions or experimental data. Now you are putting your own equations and you don't have anything like that to rely on the veracity of uh, your equations. Uh, so we want to talk about how is it that then you can test uh, you are doing uh, the right thing, you are doing, uh, you are solving the equation. Uh, correctly. Uh, and finally, we'll give you uh, homework. Your professor wanted us to give you a homework, so we'll do that. Uh, I will be asking you questions along the way, and uh, I'll feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, don't wait until the end. If anything in the of the conversation, just stop me and ask. Uh, I have a couple of hats that I will give away, either for good answers or really good questions and I'll let you decide if the question is half worthy but, uh, yeah. any questions so far asking if you can get the hats isn't a good question but uh, any other question is legit 
uh, okay. So let's start with uh, how uh, console deals with this. Uh, when you, uh, you you'd have seen this Monday when you start a new problem, uh, you have to select the physics after you have specified your spatial dimension, whether it's three D, two D, one D, or two D or one D axis symmetric. Uh, you select the physics, and here uh, you see the ACDC. Those are different. Uh, 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 interfaces for electrical and magnetics, electromagnetics in general, or the fluid flow, or heat transfer, semiconductor, structural mechanics. And at the end, there is this node, mathematics. And that is where you go when you want to add your own equations rather than using the built-in uh, interfaces. Now, when you go to the mathematics uh, interface, then there are, uh, other, uh, there are choices within it. So you could be specifying PEs, you could be specifying ODEs, uh, you could be uh, doing optimization and sensitivity analysis. Uh, we have this uh, classical PDs uh, branch. That is really a replica of the PD interfaces, but uh, things like Laplace equation, Poisson equation, Helmholtz equation, people often use them. So we want sort of a prepackaged uh, option uh, for those. So that's what you get under classical uh, PDEs. If you are solving a problem with a moving domain or uh, with a moving interface, uh, we have a mathematical uh, level set and phase field interfaces that uh, you can use. So for example, if you're having a heat transfer problem with phase change, uh, we already have a heat transfer with phase change interface built in, but this is when you are adding your own uh, phase field or level set type mathematics. Um, then uh, the form mesh for uh, solving problems on uh, moving domains and other uh, interfaces. So uh, what we will be talking about today is uh, what we get in the PDE interfaces and in the OE and DAE interfaces. And as you see there, in the PDE interfaces, you have a couple of different options to specify uh, your PDEs.